Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to prove mathematically 1 equal to 2. So let's start with, with this one. So minus 2 equal to minus 2, we all know that this one is correct. So what we're going to do next? Minus 2 equal to 1 minus 3 and minus 2 equal to 4 minus 6. So we just express this minus 2 with 1 minus 3 and 4 minus 6. So this is good for us. What we're going to do next? Take a look. This one can be written as one square. So we'll have one square. And I want to show you a really good trick. So nothing changed, but I want to write this three as minus two times one and times three over two. So nothing changed. Two, two dividing by two will be one. So this is the same as right here, but I want to show you, I want to write it in that way. And as a result, on the right, do the same thing. So four equal to two square and minus two times two and times three, three half. If we simplify this, two cancel with this two and two times three will be six. So nothing changed. We're just multiplying and dividing by, by these two right here and right right here. So nothing changed, step by step. What we're going to do next? Take a look. We just need to add 3 half square of both sides. So we will have as a result. 1 square and I just use this, use this trick. Plus 3 half square at both sides. 3 half square and this one right. Minus 2 times 1 times 3 half. And we will do the same thing on the right, we will have equal to 2 square and plus 3 half to the second power minus 2 times 2 times 3 half. So I just add on both sides 3 half to the second power. So nothing, nothing changed. I just add both sides. Of course we can cancel, but I want to add it. What we're going to do next? Take a look. We all know the formula that a minus b to the second power equal to a square plus b square and minus 2ab. This is our formula. And take a look what we will have. This is our a, a square plus b square and minus 2 times a times b. This is our formula on the left. And on the right we will have the same a square plus b square and minus 2 times a times b. So this is our formula. What we will have? We will have that using this formula we will have the next case. 1 minus 3 half square equal to 2 minus 3 half square. So just use this formula. What we're going to do next? Take a look. If we take square root from both of the side, what we will have? We will have the next case. Square root of 1 minus 3 half to the second power equal to square root of 2 minus 3 half to the second power. Of course, these two and this square root sign we can we can cancel, so cancel square root and this sign, and we will have only our expression under our square root sign. We will have that 1 minus 3 half equal to 2 minus 3 half. And from here, if we cancel minus 3 half from both of the side, as you can see, we will have that 1 equal to 2. And this will be our what do you think about this method? Where is the mistake? Where is the trick? Where is this this proof goes wrong? So write your write your question in the comment. Write your write your suggestion about this this method. Where is the mistake? Maybe, maybe there is no mistake. And see you in the next videos.